Hi, welcome back to my channel, Michelle. And today I want to show you guys our Christmas movie night dinner. Every year we do a special dinner for a Christmas movie. Last year it was Polar Express. The year before that it was Grinch. This year we are doing, well, I'll show you and you guys will have to guess before I tell you. But I decorate our dining room. I make the food that whatever was themed in that movie and we do a special dessert. So I'll turn you around and show you what I did. All right, this is the door leading into my dining room. So this is your first clue. So this is what we have. You can see, now I cut all the paper snowflakes out. Super easy to do. And the really big ones here, I will link the YouTube video down, but they're super easy to make. And then they are just held up by floss. <laughs> That's it. So I, put some giant snowflakes, some regular snowflakes, but, and then I just picked these up from the dollar store. All the decorations I use, I usually get from the dollar store or I make, I try to keep the budget under $20. All right, so this is our table. These are where my daughters sit. So the first thing you can see on their chairs is they have a little elf hat. And again, I just made this out of construction paper. So our movie we'll be watching is Elf. And then most of the stuff up here I either own or got from the dollar store. So the tablecloth is from the dollar store. This is from the dollar store. It's just the snow glitter. Really quick look. So let's start over here. These little boxes, these are gift boxes from the dollar store. I've had these for years. My kids play with them actually. I have the gingerbread and the Santa's workshop. I have a little penguin guy over here. These are the Fisher Price little Santa elf set that we've had again for years. I picked a two pack of these up from the dollar store. I printed this off Pinterest. This is a play self my kids have, and again, they had this narwhal. It's just a little fingerly narwhal because in the elf movie, when Buddy leaves, he says goodbye to the narwhal and goes on the iceberg. And then we have the snowman because there's a snowman. Um, Leon, I believe, is his name in the movie. This is our candy cane forest. And yes, that is Buddy the Elf taking a poop in the forest because my kids think poop is hilarious. So it's just a Hershey kiss. But what I did for this is, this is just the foam board from the dollar store. And inside is those little foam they use for like floral decorations and stuff. So I could shove the candy canes in there. So all I did is I bought two of those foam squares and then I cut the foam board to go around it and I just glued it together. And then I just bought this shiny paper to go on top to cover the green. And that's our forest. And then I just shoved some candy canes in there. I printed this off the internet, just Google images and put it in there. And then you'll see around if we have little candy cane Hershey Kisses. And if you're curious, every food item here is also gluten free. So over here we have the swirly, twirly gumdrop river. So again, I just arranged some gumdrops on here. And then we already had the Santa and the reindeer from our little playset. That's the other side of it. And again, it was super simple to make. Most of the stuff we had on hand, but it's a surprise that the kids wake up to that they really enjoy. Next, I will show you what we're eating for dinner and what we're having for dessert. All right, so for dinner, we were having spaghetti, obviously, because that's what Buddy has in the movie. In the movie, he puts maple syrup and marshmallows and stuff on that. I wasn't gonna give that as my main meal to the kids because we have dessert later, but I did put a little bowl of pasta on the side and I'm gonna let them try it with a little bit of maple syrup and then I just have some gumdrops and marshmallows if they want to try it on this separate part of their pasta but their main thing is just regular pasta with pasta sauce this is what we use for gluten free 
They have organic broccoli, and then I just made candy cane breadsticks. I'll link the pizza dough recipe I used below. And again, this was supposed to be red, but natural food coloring doesn't always do what it's supposed to do, so it's purple, which is fine though. So I just rolled it up and twisted it together, and I put some butter and some garlic over it. So that is what we will be eating. So for dessert, we are just having vanilla cupcakes. I went the easy route and just bought the gluten-free mix from Aldi, but it's super easy to make vanilla cupcakes too. And then they have sprinkles inside. You can see this is a snowflake one. And then the frosting is, I'll link the recipe down below. It's just powdered sugar, butter, vanilla. And then I'm gonna let the kids top their own. So we have peppermint marshmallows. I crushed up some candy cane pieces if they want to put that on there. We have some gumdrops and just regular marshmallows. And then decorative Christmas sprinkles. So that will be our dessert. So these are what the kids decorated. This is my two year old. This is my eight year old. And this is my five year old. Everything is dairy, gluten free. The last thing we will be doing is having some popcorn and watching the movie. We have just regular butter popcorn and then the white chocolate peppermint. Again, both these are gluten free. And I thought this was fun. I found it on Pinterest. You choose your elf name. And if you're curious, I am Jolly Snowflake. <laughs> so the kids are going to have fun this, with this and just call each other this. But this was everything we did for our elf movie night. Thank you for watching.